Hello and welcome to our session on Modern Harmony. In this series we'll be taking a look at traditional harmony and looking at how it's applied to the guitar fingerboard in a contemporary way. So we won't be taking the classical approach. We'll be looking at how guitar players have slightly modified traditional thinking to adapt to the sounds of today. In this video, all the examples will be in the key of E. I'll begin with the traditional set of triads that are created from the E major scale, and I'll play them in conventional chord shapes. So the chords would be E, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, A, B, C sharp minor, D sharp diminished. Now the D sharp diminished can also be thought of as a D sharp minor with a flattened fifth. Let's have a listen to the sound of these chords played in the traditional way using bar chords and open chords on the guitar. Firstly E. F sharp minor. G sharp minor. A major. B major. C sharp minor. D sharp diminished. And finishing on E major again. As a starting point, one of the best ways a guitar player can create modern sounds out of traditional harmony is to use drone string chords. Now if the concept of drone string chords is new to you, you might want to check out some of our videos on this subject. I'll leave some links in the description below this video. For the moment, I'll assume that you know what drone string chords are. So what I'm going to do here is play the same set of chords from E major, but this time I'm going to have an open E first string and an open B second string. Now, as I'm going through the chords, I'm just going to call out the names E, F sharp minor, and so on. But obviously, the open strings will change the actual name of the chord. Like I might be calling out F sharp minor, but in reality, the chord I'm playing might be F sharp minor 11. At present, I'm just going to think of these chords as modified chords. So instead of saying F sharp minor 11 or G sharp minor 7 sharp 5 or whatever, I'm just going to say G sharp minor. And we'll assume that they're a modified chord because of the open strings. So here goes. Now what I'm going to do with these chords is only play five strings. I'm not going to play the sixth string at the moment. I'm just going to play the shapes as they're shown on the screen there and I'm omitting the sixth string in each one of these chords. E. F sharp minor. G sharp minor. A. B. C sharp minor. D sharp diminished. And back to E major, an octave higher than I started. The next thing I can do is play an E pedal tone all the way through uh, with each of these chords. Now all that simply means is I'm going to play the exact same set of chords and the same fingering that I just did, only this time each one of these chords will have an E bass. So the first chord will be E major and obviously it will have an E bass with the sixth string. Then I'm going to go and play F sharp minor, the same shape as before, only this time you hear a different sound because we'll have an E bass. And you would write this as F sharp minor slash E. 
Let's have a listen to these chords now. The same triadic chords that were produced from E major, only this time we have drone strings on top of the chord, the first and second string ringing above each one of the, the chords. And now we have also now an E bass note, an E pedal tone ringing underneath each chord. Here we go. E. F sharp minor. G sharp minor. A. B. C sharp minor. D sharp diminished. And back to octave E. I'll just play through that whole scale now so you can listen to all the chords with the bass note. Another way we can find new sounds on the guitar is by substituting some of the chords, the traditional chords, from the harmonised scale with an inversion of a chord that already is contained in that scale. I'll just explain how that works. Say we take the first three chords of this scale, E, F sharp minor and G sharp minor. Now, if you're writing a song or you're wanting to work a song out, what you need to know is what your options are. So let's say we're writing our song and we want to go from an E chord to an A chord. And to get to that A chord, I'm thinking of using the chords in between E and A. So I'm thinking of playing the first four chords in the harmonised scale. I'm thinking of going E, F sharp minor, G sharp minor and A. So let's see several ways that we could achieve this using some of the ideas we've spoke about so far and also including another option. So I'm going to start by playing E, F sharp minor, G sharp minor going to A and I'm just going to use the traditional chords however I'll have the drone strings ringing on top. So I have E, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, and I'm going to go to A. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. What I could do, however, is Instead of using the G-sharp minor, I could use an E chord with a G-sharp bass. Now, this is the new principle I was speaking about earlier. What we're doing here is using an E chord. So E obviously exists in the key of E major, but we're putting what we call a third in the bass. The third note in an E major chord is G-sharp. As somebody investigating modern harmony, what we want to understand is that when you put a third in the bass, it makes the chord sound weak. In other words, if I just played this E with the G-sharp chord on its own, it's not as strong as an E major chord with an E in the bass. So a chord with a third in the bass won't sound that good as a static chord, but it sounds fantastic as a transition chord. Let's have a listen to 
the same idea moving from E to A, only this time I'm going to play E, F sharp minor, E with the G sharp bass, and then onto the A chord. So here is E, F sharp minor, E with the G sharp bass, to A. Okay, let's have a listen to both progressions side by side. E, F sharp minor, G sharp minor going to A, followed by E, F sharp minor, E with the G sharp bass going to A. The bass movement has remained the same, but you'll hear there's a subtle difference in the feeling. A third way I could do this is to play E major, F sharp minor 7th with drone strings, G sharp minor 7th with drone strings going to A. Let's have a listen to that. fourth way I could go E, F sharp minor 7, E with the G sharp bass again, going to A. I hope you can hear that the E with the G sharp bass is less defined, but it has that yearning quality, it wants to resolve to the A. And of course another very obvious option is to leave out the F sharp minor and just play E then go directly to the E with the G sharp bass and then to the A chord. So I think you can see already there's several different options available to us when we're wanting to change the basic set of chords for our song. In this instance it was E going to A. And we had several different ways of moving from that E to the A. So I hope you've got a lot out of this video and we'll continue our sonic adventures in the next session. Bye for now.